Greetings, Dave here. I'm going to make some um, auger plates today. And I've, over the years I've found that if I add a couple of supplements to regular potato dextrose auger, um, I get better growth in general. And I call it um, high performance auger. And it seems to work for every species of mushroom. So the formula to make 100 liters, milliliters, sorry, to make 100 milliliters is four grams of potato dextrous auger. Plus two grams of uh, Caro or Cairo syrup, and one gram of yeast extract, roughly. The yeast extract I simply made from this stuff, which uh, works fine. I've had this for years, and it never seems to go bad. And um, I first dissolve this in a liter of water, one jar, and then I use it at a strength of uh, 250x. In other words, I dilute it then again one part to 250 parts of water in general. So you don't have to add this stuff at all, these supplements. Uh, mushroom mycelium will grow fine on regular potato dextrose agar. So we bring the water up to 100 milliliters. We have 100 milliliters of water, roughly, and now we have to boil this to dissolve the auger. So a better way to do this would be to uh, use a hot plate, but this works. We're not too fussy. So while that's coming to a boil, I'll show you uh, the way I like to make plates. I used to make them using uh, plastic petri dishes. Many other people do, and that works. However, I had um, a lot of contamination from time to time. And so, a while back I adopted this strategy. These are really inexpensive little jars. I think they're probably two ounce. I don't remember. Two ounce. And... Um, these are lids, that stainless steel lids that you can buy for them. They make a tight fit. And I drill a hole. It looks like about, what, 5 sixteenths. Doesn't matter. And I use cotton batting. And I stuff the hole with cotton. And that's it. And we fill that with um, the auger and allow it to, and then we pressure cook it. So everything is fully sterilized. The cotton is a barrier to the entry of contaminants. So once we sterilize the inside, it'll stay sterile for months or perhaps years. So we never have to worry about it. And we'll get to that in a minute. So the auger is uh, getting close to boiling. I usually make uh, eight of these at a time because that fits comfortably into the pressure cooker. But today I'll just do four as a demonstration and I need a couple anyway. So I just want to cover the bottom. And that's enough. The next step is to put some aluminum foil over the top so that water doesn't get into there during the um, sterilization process. Okay, so this goes in the bottom to keep the jars elevated a little bit. And then we put the plates in the cooker. 
And now we pressure cook for 30 minutes at 15 PSI, allow it to cool, and that's it. We and now those should, they should be allowed to cool for until they're, they've congealed back down to room temperature before use. So here are the finished high performance auger plates. And I usually keep them upside down to prevent moisture from accumulating on the auger itself.